everybody, it's Chris Bryant again with another tutorial. Um, today what I want to cover is just how to enable the right-clicking functionality of your Apple Mighty Mouse. Uh, the Mighty Mouse doesn't look like it's got two buttons, but it actually does. Um, in fact, it's got the same functionality as any other mouse with two buttons. The only difference is instead of having two visible buttons on the Mighty Mouse, it has sensors underneath the, the single white shell at the top of the mouse that detects where your fingers are and it figures out whether or not you're doing a right or left click based on where you press down on the shell. But in order to take advantage of the right clicking capability of the Mighty Mouse, you need to set that up in OS X, and that's what I'm gonna show you how to do. So, you wanna go up to the Apple menu in the top left-hand corner of your screen. And from the Apple menu, you wanna select System Preferences. In the System Preferences window, You've got a few rows and we want to go to the second row where it says keyboard and mouse and click on that. You'll notice at the top of the keyboard and mouse window that there's several options. Mine says keyboard and trackpad and mouse and Bluetooth and keyboard shortcuts. Obviously we want to go to the mouse. Once we're here you see that we've got two pull down menus or drop down menus. One for the left one for the right of the mouse. By default, both of these are set to primary button, which means that regardless of where you click, left or right on the mouse, you always get the same thing. By setting the right hand side to secondary button, now the Mighty Mouse knows you want to use this as a left and right clicking mouse. There we go, and that's all we need to do to set it. We don't need to hit save or anything, we just close that window. Now when we're in Pro Tools, we can actually access a lot of the right-click features, or all of the right-click features. For example, right-clicking on a track label gives you a pull-down menu. Um, selecting a region and right-clicking on that gives you another menu. Um, if we go over to the Regions menu here, if I click on an audio region in the Regions list, I get this menu. That's kind of just scratching the surface. There's actually quite a, quite a few cool features in Pro Tools that use right clicking. But for now, I just wanted to cover how to enable the Mighty Mouse so you could start playing with all those features. So hope that helps you, and we'll see you again at the next tutorial. Thanks.